guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. It is a Primark haul. The last one that I did, the huge Primark haul which had loads of summer, spring uh, items in it. Loads of you really, really liked it and um, I can't thank you enough for the support I had on that video. So, to thank you, I went back to Primark and I got a few more bits. I've been watching a few Primark hauls myself lately and there were lots of things um, that other people I've noticed have been buying that I really like the look of so I wanted to go back anyway. Um, I managed to get a few bits so enough to do a haul for you and um, without further ado I will jump straight into it. So the first thing that I bought were these high waisted denim shorts with rips along the um, front. These are in a size 10 and they also have a bit of rip detailing on the back and the back pocket. Um, I really like the colour of this, it's like a really light wash denim. Um, I have a couple of Levi shorts anyway that I've cut myself but they're both um, a little bit darker than this so I wanted to pick up this colour anyway and um, these, these cost me £10 and I'm going to get so much wear out of these in the summer and the warmer months especially when I go abroad so um, yeah they're just a staple um, denim short. The next item that I bought was this bandeau um, top in a size 10, it was £4 and it's got like a built in little bra thing, um, not like a padded bra just like an extra lining so that as you can see it's very short, it's literally just crop top um, that I would probably pair with those denim shorts maybe just to the beach or something like that with a bikini underneath. And um, yeah, so for £4, like I say, it was just a perfect little top to go over a bikini with them shorts to the beach. The next item that I bought is this, um, I would say, bluey, lilac-y, purple, uh, culotte style jumpsuit. It doesn't go full length, It, as I say, it's like a culotte style loose fitted uh, trouser leg that just falls quite nicely on your shin. It is bardo style so it's across the shoulders which I really like especially when the sun is out just to catch the sun on your shoulders without any strap marks or anything and I also think it's quite a flattering cut so I bought this. It's quite unusual for me to go for something with colour and print like this but I thought why not go out of my comfort zone a little bit and just try something different and um, I really like it. It's got, as you can see, this like cinched in rouge detailing around the waist so you don't need to um, worry about it looking a bit frumpy. It does sort of highlight your figure and uh, it's super light, super flowy, a really nice material for when it's warm. I got this in a size 10 and it was £13. The next item that I bought is this um, striped dress in grey and white for £5. It's in a size 10 and it's got little roll up detailing on the sleeve. It's like a t-shirt dress whereby it's very loose fitted. It's quite short, it's something that I'll probably just wear either A around the house um, as like a comfy house dress. Who House dress? That's a made up term. I've never, I've never used that term before. Um, a dress that I'd wear around the house maybe or out and about when it's really hot or potentially to the beach as well it's just a nice really really soft material the next item that I bought is these um, I'd say cigarette trousers in white in a size 8 for £15 with this belt detailing as well I should probably do this up so you can see it a bit better so as you can see there's a bit of uh, belt detailing here and they um, yeah, I, I don't really know how to explain them. They're just a pair of tailored white trousers. They're not like a true white. I'd say they're a slightly off-white, not quite cream. I think they look really chic, really elegant, really nice for when it is sunny as like an evening wear because it's quite thick. Um, so it's not something that you're probably going to want to wear when it's really warm because it is th the material is very thick. Um, and because of that, then it's not see-through or anything on the back. Um, yeah, really like that and for £15 I think this is good value for money for a really smart pair of tailored trousers. Sweating. Then on to the next item, I got this like play suit style um, denim look um, play suit <laughs> with this tie drawstring waist so you can pull it in and tighten it around the waist. It's got this pretty lace detailing on the bottom in this like cream lace material and this was, uh, let's have a look, I got this in a size 
12, uh, this would have been because they didn't have my size, because um, I wouldn't ordinarily go for a 12, and it was 12 pounds. With it being a bit of a bigger size, usually, as I say, I wouldn't go for a 12, it has got straps that you can tighten, and also around the waist you can pull it in, so really the only fit is for the length of it, and I don't mind it being a little bit longer, it's still very short anyway, so this for me, I have the intention of wearing it like on the beach or something, um, and in the summer months when it's a bit warmer. Keeping in line with this sort of denim look, uh, especially light wash denim, I've got this um, play suit because it is shorts at the bottom. It is again bardo style or bandeau style, whichever you want to say. Essentially across the shoulders, um, you, it just sits quite nicely. It also ties around the waist. Um, with this like cinch in detailing here as well as a little tie if you wanted to tighten it and do a bow. Um, the length of it is quite short again, it's something that I would just wear probably abroad or in the summer. Uh, what I really like is the colour of this denim, it's super super light um, and I think it's really pretty especially with this white detailing here that, which is all embroidered in. I got this in a size 6, it's fairly big for a size 6. Um, and it was £12, so again, similar price to the one before, well, same price as the one before, and I think for a full outfit, essentially, this is, it's um, really good value for money, and I really like it. The next item that I bought is a bit more towards the wintry side, it is this long, um, long line black, uh, like, bomber style, parka style jacket with the draw drawstrings at the bottom, um, it's also got this really nice embroidery detailing on the back, I think this is stunning. I actually picked this up not realising that the um, embroidery was on the back, so that was kind of a bit of a surprise to me. I got it in a size 8 and it was in the sale from £25 down to £10, so that's probably why it was in the sale because it is more of a wintry item. And um, yeah, really like it. I like the fact that the embroidery is in this like silver and gold colour um, because I'm not one for like loads of colour as you can tell. If you've been following me for a while, I do, um, I really like the fact that it's this colour on the back. So yeah, really impressed with that and it was a good bargain. I also picked up this little choker which was £2. It's in this um, like nude suede like material with rose gold detailing. Um, for £2 this is just something I saw and thought, oh yeah, really pretty. Picked it up, put it in my basket. So um, you tend to have a lot of things like that in Primark that you just kind of buy on an impulse. But I really like this, I think it looks really pretty and I'm looking forward to wearing it. The next top that I bought is um, in size 10, it was £10 and it is this cut out shoulder detailing, quite high neck, uh, blue shirt like material with little sleeves and again as I say with the cut out on the shoulders. It's fairly, not short, it's just like, it's not cropped or anything, it's just on the hips and my intention is to wear this. Um, in the warmer months. I think this colour complements my skin really nicely and my hair. I always tend to reach for blues. If, if I was going to go for a colour, blue would be the one. The next top that I bought is um, in a size 10 in navy and it was £8. This has this really pretty layering like to it. It's kind of cropped, kind of not. It's again sits right on my hips so that I will probably wear this with like high-waisted white jeans or something like that. Really pretty cut-out detailing and um, I probably also pair this with the denim shorts um, for when it is warmer in the summer and for £8 I think it's quite a good staple um, top to have. Very pretty. They had a few different colours. They had I believe a white one with this white bit here being in red and they also had a red version with the detailing in white as well. Navy's probably my go-to, I, I very rarely tend to wear red. I do like it, I just tend to gra gravitate towards navy a little bit more. So yeah, really pretty. This top that I bought was, it's like in this blush pink. Uh, I got it in a size 10, it was, how much was this? Seven pounds. Um, it's in like a chiffon -y, sheer type material, it's got a little button at the top which I'm just trying to do up and it's also got these it's actually cut out shoulders uh, which I didn't notice at first but I think it's really pretty detail to it and it just has these like flowing panels across the shoulders and yeah I thought this was quite a nice um, 
more dressy but summer springtime top to wear because of the colour being this like blush pink. I think this will look really nice with white high waisted jeans and maybe a pair of heels in the same colour. Um, so yeah, really pretty and only £7. Again, another item that I picked up on an impulse. I saw these on a previous Primark haul that I've watched as well. Um, these were only £2 for a pack of two. They're just headbands which I'll probably wear for a, doing my makeup and also in the summer for um, like on the beach or whatever just tying my hair up out of my face um, and yeah the first one is in like a satin nude colour and the other one isn't satin it's just plain cotton in black so again another impulse buy. And the last item that I picked up were these shorts in the colour stone, got them in a size 10 and they were only £4. These two are going to be a multi-purpose type short, these are going to be for on the beach, uh, very casual in the summer or also I like to wear little shorts like this as pyjama bottoms so um, these will come in handy. They had a really pretty terracotta colour which I really wanted to get but they didn't have my size, they just had like the super size or super skinny which I couldn't fit into either so um, I picked them up in this stone colour first and I will keep my eyes out for the terracotta colour when I go back. So that is everything from my Primark haul this time. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again for the support on the last video. If you didn't see it, what I'll do is I'll link it below for you. It's a much bigger Primark haul um, where I had two big bags full. So if you're interested in seeing that, then go check it out. I will link it below. I'll also leave links below to my blog, Twitter, so other social media, my Instagram, Snapchat, um, where you can go and follow me on those platforms where I post daily. Um, otherwise, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up if you like Primark hauls, and I will see you again next time. Bye guys!